on deck it's your boy third eye cam today's date is september 4 2019 the time right now is 2 10 p.m okay so pretty much just another day of uh, observing the sky i haven't done it for a couple of days because we got a hurricane dorian sitting off in the uh atlantic and the cloud cover has been blocking me but now that that's dissipated because we're on the good side of the storm and it's pretty much uh inbound and the sky is as it is i thought i'd take a moment to get some up and up looks so i'm gonna zoom in from this point and just kind of spin around that's your north that's your west sun is headed that way that's your south and east coast now let me back my camera up now two days ago i uploaded uh the, a video that i did where i was uh, observing the sky and i was talking about chemtrails and i was observing a mr magic chemtrailer that's the name of the video and i was showing a guy or uh, a, a plane i'm sorry a plane that was a uh, chemtrailing and pretty much uh once i uploaded it i also made me a third eye cam facebook page and i uploaded the videos on that and then within 10 minutes some unknown assailant individuals persons faction sees my facebook page requesting confirmation of a uh picture so i sent them the same third eye cam icon that i put up on my youtube page that you see and uh they suspended that but it was cool because that let me know that the feds and persons on that level are in charge of that deal not mark zuckerberg i mean zuckerberg that guy pepper mark but um aside from all that i'm just back to observing the skies and um supposedly five days there's supposed to be a asteroid inbound that's going to fly over us and i'm hoping to get footage of that if the clouds are not covering us would be nice but i'm looking at these funky looking clouds and i'm pretty much just panning around as slow as i can so that you all can see what i see it's very beautiful but it's very mysterious because we don't know what it is we have no idea other than it just being clouds from our point of view it's something more but the thing was and as far as my chem trailer video then they're going to send me a video uh, 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 of a definition of what chemtrailing is i understand the basic definition of chemtrailing but per my visual observation and my third eye cam observation that i've recorded i keep recording planes that keep flying across uh faded objects way back in past the white clouds that i call galactic space dust galactic clouds that are har harboring around a uh a planetoid or object or something spherical something out there that they don't want us to see and they know they don't want us to see it they can see it every day As a matter of fact they, are, they have eyes on it continuous whatever it is even if it's nothing they have eyes on it but it's something there and they do have eyes on it and they don't want us general public people to know what it is well i've always been observing as far as the heavens and you might own certain things in this land but you do not own the sky you do not own the clouds you do not own the sun nor do you not own these objects that are in space you're just merely observing just like us so there's no need to obscure it from us let us see it so we can make our own decisions i for one am not cattle i'm a highly intelligent sentient type of human being who has been to war and i know how to make my mind up on whether i choose to die or not so i choose to see so if death is coming at me let me see if the death is coming at the whole world let the world see it stop obscuring stop obfuscating because now it tells me that you're worried about something that's up there that you're hiding from us so we're gonna need you to stop there stop wasting all this money that you're wasting on flying these pilots to chemtrail because we know that's what you're doing and I don't mind if y'all come after me. Come on after me. I'm going to be arrogant and say I was a fucking Marine. And I can accept the fact if I fucking die, it is what it is. But it'll be on your hands. My blood will be on your hands. 
And if there's such a thing as a soul, my soul will haunt you. <laughs> and that's a promise. So don't threaten me with anything because I fought for the freedom that a lot of you fuckers up in that damn hierarchy of government or whatever you're in, you will never fight for. You'd run and tuck your goddamn tails. So please do not come at me about trying to make me fear. I left all my fear in Iraq. When it's come times to die for me to die, it'll be that. No higher than any other human. And if God makes me something more because that's the way it is, then God will make me something more. But as far as you knuckleheads that are out here playing games, it, you, you really need to get off of it. But yeah, this right here is just a basic cloud. Or there's something higher, like if you notice, uh, that cloud looks different from those clouds. And yes, I'm copper colored. I'm pretty sure a lot of you can tell, but don't let that deviate you from watching my channel. Very highly intelligent, very well observed, and I'm very well calculated. So don't let a color relegate you to put me in a uh, certain lower aspect of intelligence because I'm very intelligent highly intelligent so we're gonna keep uh, observing and we'll be back sure. all right continuing from where I last stopped off the time now same date is 250 now if you look up at the Sun I just caught a chemtrail while I was driving up you see the smoke trail let me see if I can zoom in on it All right, smoke trail right there to the right of the Sun as it's setting in the West and then this rainbow pops up around the sky you can see it I don't know if that's them chemtrailing around the Sun but there's a rainbow around the Sun it looks like they're it looks like they've been uh, what's the word circling the rainbow to try to obfuscate it but all they did was augment it and back up so you get a good look at the Sun again a lot of the stuff is chemtrailing and as the sky as the air pushes the cloud, the chemtrail, it waves off in a funky looking pattern. Kind of like that. It looks like a like a man leaping off right. Oh, let me see. Right there. Looks like a somebody flying through the sky. You know, if you have an imagination for images, imagery. But you can clearly see this cloud and it cuts right across the side of the sun let me see if i can zoom in on it sun is bright as i don't know what all right there it is yeah yeah so you can see the cloud the chemtrail shoots straight through and the pilot went went that away into the clouds and what he's going to do is turn around make a u-turn and come back and chemtrail the other side of the sun or however he figures or feels or not feels but is directed from the ground I normally wouldn't say anything about this stuff, but I'm starting to observe a lot of awkward stuff. And the reason being, because I'm a, a star watcher. I've been watching the stars since I was a baby. Right now, that's the only star I can see. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, this is this is irritatingly awkward because I wish there was nothing wrong, and I know I'm not delusional. I would not have made it into the military if I was delusional. but you know this is very awkward and we just came out of a waning moon and the moon is behind the sun if you look over the treetop you can see the moon right let me see there that's the moon that wane coming out of the waning moon for it was august 30th let me go back to the sun we still got the rainbow around the sun See if I can back out of it. Yeah, it looks like a perfect sphere. You can see it. And it almost looks like an eye. Almost looks like an eye, like that little ABC all seeing eye. <laughs> but it's, it's really beautiful, but people, let's be realistic. I know a lot of you out there might be delusional because you don't pay attention to this stuff. You don't, you do not research and study it. All I know is since I've been little, since I was little, I've been looking at the sky. 
I know the constellations. I've studied how the sun rises and falls and the moon follows it. You know, from the new moon to the old moon to no noon, no moon. And the process repeats. This is something different in our skies. And okay, I'm 45 years old. I know the skies. I'm not some young guy doing this for thrills. But I'm simply putting it on record to whomever might listen that some of us know what you're doing. And as the saying goes, your firearms are too short to box with God. So, man of the world, Gentiles of the world, beasts of the field of the world, Edomites, persons in power, persons in power, please do not try to block what our God is sending. The whole world's about to see. You are about to see. All your little nuclear arms and whatnot, I don't think you'll be able to compete. So stop trying to play God. You're, you're not. You're just that of a drop out of a bucket, biblically, if you know what I mean. And all your little fancy tricks are not going to get you where you think you're going to. You're not going to get off the planet for many unforetold reasons that you probably know about more than I do, scientifically. And we're talking about the firmament and whatnot. But beyond that, I'm just merely observing the sky. Right now, the sun is what's happening. The sun is what's happening right now. The sphere came around. And that is the result, more than likely, of an object that we can't see because it's too close to the sun we're seeing the atmosphere of it bounce off and reflect refract reflect onto us okay now there's another chemtrailer right there pretty sure you can see them going that way this is what i'm talking about that is not a regular airline a chemtrailer with people on board there's a pilot the co-pilot and the navigator or whoever else and he just cut his chemtrail off it's those guys and then in the back of that plane stowed is a lot of chemicals. And I saw the plane. Oh, there he is. He's chemtrailing again. There he is. He's sputtering his chemtrail. Probably conducting a test. He'll shoot some more as he goes. <clears throat> or that's just the remnant of what's coming out. And that's a big bus. Big aircraft from where I'm seeing. And he started his chemtrail up again. But he's going to scatter it here and there. I see a lot of that often. That's not a regular Airbus with people on it. They're slick to follow the uh, airport's routes, but they're kind of off by a couple of degrees so they don't blind getting those guys' this actual path. So they spray closest to the sun, really. Now, as I keep going, I got so much footage I'm going to put out there from 2018 because I'm backtracking now. And I'm going to put it out there for everybody to see. Now, you can see him chemtrailing. He's really getting it in there. Now, I see this all day, every day. I'm an hour and 45 minutes from Pennsylvania Avenue. So, the closer we are to that place, the more chaos you're going to see. And look how long this chemtrail is. Let me get a zoom in on him. Anyway, that's his chemtrail. Going all the way back west, southwest, and it's going forward, north, uh, east. What he's going to do is, once he gets... I guess somewhere close to the coast he's gonna turn around and come back and chemtrail in a different direction but I usually see them flying in pairs and patterns one bit one will spray and one won't I notice the date to date the earth whatever these things that are that's showing up in the air they show up every 3.2 to 5 days and we get a lot of uh, this activity and once we're past that date the sky's clear and everything's beautiful then i count my days up and i got it on record for the calendar days i've been keeping track of it I meaning physically writing it down in the book i'm on it that hard now eventually at some point i'm going to break down everything to you i'm just giving you the basic monologue language i don't want to be sounding too intelligent and using really huge big words as your president would say really huge big big words that will confuse you but I'm just going to speak in layman's terms. 
use basic words to show what I'm looking for. Now that is a regular Airbus. And he's getting ready to land at uh, RVA, Richmond, Virginia Airport. But that guy that came through here, that was all government, baby. That was hua, hua, ura, military, or shadow government, whatever. But that was just military. There's something up there that we uh, are meant to see. We're gonna see it. And they're not gonna be able to hide it when it comes. Right now they're playing the game. They don't want anybody to know. They want you to keep working. They don't want you to flip out. Because a lot of people will start killing themselves off and they need us to work so that they can get their money. So we're going to keep uh, observing. We'll come back later with more. I'm giving time, the sun time to uh, descend and the sky to change so I can bring you more detail. All right, again, your boy, Third Eye Cam. All right, Third Eye Cam, and uh, I think it's... Uh, 3 12 p.m. and as you can see another chemtrail just came across the sky let me see if I can get a good picture on him zoom in there he is all the way across nothing different nothing new and then we got one out there oh we got one coming this way what is this oh, it's a prop plane I think yeah it's a prop plane no big significance. But we're just gonna let you take a look and I'm gonna be quiet and slowly pan across the sky. And there's a prop pillow. And our rainbow shows back up again also. Above the sun you can see it. Now zoom in on it. That's the best I can. My max zoom. So like I was saying again, there's a uh, pretty sure there's a spherical object within the atmosphere. Maybe not. Maybe it's crystalline, diamond, some kind of rare, expensive element out there tumbling around in space that is giving off an atmospheric rainbow as the sun shoots through it or a planet but we keep getting this uh rainbow every many days and that's just not by coincidence the earth is not doing anything funky within its atmosphere that's something foreign so that's the business right now people they're trying to hide something they don't want you to see it there's something of astronomical proportion up there in the, in the atmosphere in the space beyond the stratosphere that they do not want us to see because it's going to scare the hell out of everybody and that's what it is So I'm going to come back. I'm going to keep letting the sun descend and hopefully this clouds will fade out because they just keep coming through chemtrailing and I'm going to prove it. It's going to keep my uh, camera pointed toward the sun as I go throughout the day until it's gone. This is that day. And then we'll drop the video for you. Third eye cam. All right, we're just gonna get a quick shot at it one more time.
you know what burns me up now I'm observing the skies to bring to you all what I see and I always have these people that come walking past me trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing that's what burns me up and then they look at me like I'm the dumbest thing walking but they're so lost and they're very lost plenty of many of lost individuals they're so wrapped up into this false world this fake world that they can't even see the reality of what's going on above their heads okay now looking over here these look like meteorites with tails behind them i actually have caught one let me see if i can zoom in on it uh, i'm gonna say that one and that one more specifically that one now i catch a lot of these you can't see them because you can't see past the atmosphere as to their true color just like the moon you can't see its true color but what you can see is um the outline it's the same color as the sky but it's, it always has a lot of debris and crap around it and it has a tail that streams off of it and that's something in the stratosphere i know i downloaded an app that lets me see all the objects that pass near to the earth i don't know if that's fake but it seems to be real right now is that time and normally when these funny looking orbs come out that's when the chemtrails come out also and the sun starts getting this funky rainbow around it that you see and the sun dogs all right let's see that's the sun dog That's a part of that rainbow system. But I see a lot of this stuff, especially like I said, in the, within the three, four day cap, around about day two, three, you would really see it. And day four, it fades off when they're not clouding the skies with fake clouds or chemtrails. Yeah, but we'll come back. We're just gonna keep observing. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but if you look at the outline of that, it looks like a that little swoosh. Looks like two tail, two wings coming off of a planetoid as it goes through the sky. And I might be wrong, but it just looks like it. That's the stuff that I'm starting to recognize. Little funny orbs, little swoosh patterns like that, and this and this is not the first time. Like I said, if you look there to there, it looks like a, a meteorite as it flies through the sky. You know how how the cartoons depicted this is like a realistic depiction of that drawn in the sky like i said i don't know if it's a foreign object or just the patterns of the way the wind is carrying the, the clouds or atmospheric compressions disturbances from that orb that's a residue onto the cloud the sky into the atmosphere just like if you skip a rock across water, I'm pretty sure if you're up under it, you'll see the pattern form. Same thing, flows with air, but slower. We're going to trail back over to the sun. We still got our rainbow around the sun. And the sun is blinding the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, that's just really interesting. Our rainbow is kind of dissipated, but it's still there. I can see it. I can see it really well. But I just had to get that uh that right there. Funny looking meteorite to type of deal. And really what I was doing was getting a picture of the of the waning moon. But there are many mysterious objects in the sky. Sometimes uh when the sun is shining at this point around about 
between five and six there is an upside down rainbow and i actually have many pictures of those a lot of people captured them on their cameras pretty sure scientists have come up with a term for it but it does it, i've never seen that before in my lifetime so it's all new to me but for all you newcomers they'll say it's normal but we'll keep observing all right so i'm gonna take another look at the sun the sky stood up a little bit more um if you look below the sun you see that big funky cloud that's that chemtrail that came through earlier um It seems like the wind is broadening it out. And I was resembling that of a cloud. This is the chemtrails I was talking about. So like I was saying, the person's a person of faction that sent me the definition term of a chemtrail. That's not it. This is a forged, I will call it a forged chemtrail. On the words of your president, a fake chemtrail. Everything is fake with him. So that's a fake cloud, AKA a forged chemtrail. Let me zoom in on it for you. Okay, you can see it below the sun spreading out. If you look back in my video, if you missed it, um, I showed where the uh, the chemtrail was real thin. Well, there it is, and it's still expanding with the wind. So I just want to get a little clip of that, and we'll come back later and see how far it goes after that. All right, so this is the meat and potatoes that I was looking for. See the X in the sky with the chemtrails? Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, that is a crossing out of something. That is a crossing out of something in the sky. And then you got a... I lost it. But there was a sun dog. It'll pop back up. Then you got this guy over here. He warped his chemtrail around, as you can see. So something popped out while I was away from the sun and uh, they tried to cover it up again. But the meat and potatoes is right here, that cross up right there, the X in the sky below the sun. You can see it clear as day, everybody's seeing it, but nobody's really understand understands what it is. Nobody's really understanding. I'm sorry for talking really fast. I'm excited. <laughs> Very excited. Because this stuff, I haven't seen it in a while, but since we're moving back into the winter months, it's going to start showing up now more because according to other studies, these planets are mostly below the ecliptic down in the southern hemisphere. Now that the Earth is tilting back towards its winter position, we should start seeing more a more colorful sky. But this guy who, uh, one of these guys across the, oh, there it is. There's, see that rainbow pattern? That, my friends, you can see the shadow below the rainbow. That is a planetoid out in space. And it's reflecting off the clouds. And on here on the ground, we can see it as that. Pretty sure from the Scott looks other. But well, whatever it is, the shadow's coming from where the X is, and they cross the X out, and it's casting a shadow there, as it's positioned below the sun. And like I said, this guy went out this way, and then you get more of these asteroid-looking objects with the faded clouds in the background. If that's an actual galactic dust cloud trailing behind a meteorite object or by asteroid, then that is the uh, visual result of it as it's continuing to go across the sky and they're continuing to cover it up now normally when i put my camera on this stuff for hours you can see the time lapse 
that's how I'm able to pick these things up. These orbs, they 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 flow with the sun, not faster. To, you know, the thing, the faster that objects are closer to the ground, the faster they'll bypass you. But the further out they are, the slower they trail. Without getting into any technical terms, well, we'll come back to it. But I just wanted to get that X right there. So everybody can see below the sun you can see it perfectly that's a cover-up people make no mistake about it we are living in changing times so prepare yourselves now i see a chem trailer you can't see him but i can he is probably in the uh five o'clock position below the sun and going away no smoke trail but I uh, just want to put the camera in that direction just in case he shoots a trail. I think he's just uh, flying by the seat right now, waiting for instructions or just flying around in circles. But yeah, we'll get back to that. As this X runs across the sky, it's going to cover up something. We'll come back in a few minutes to see where it lands before it dissipates. This is third eye cam and um, the time is 5.08 now and I'm in Colonial Heights, Virginia. Uh, my earlier documentation was in Richmond, Bon Secours specifically. But as you can see, the sky's been totally smudged out by the chemtrailers and we have this big rainbow that's encompassing the sun as you can see. You can see uh, there's a chemtrail getting ready to go across the sun right now in the 11 o'clock position and now he's in the 12 o'clock position of the sun crossing over as it's setting in the west and you can see uh the rainbow around the sun and you can see what's known as two uh what they call the sun dogs let me zoom in on them there's one right there there's a chemtrailer and the other sun dog faded but if you look this way now I notice every time that one of these sun dogs pops out really sharp then the, the, the chemtrailers come streaking through Chemtrails come streaking through really hard, and uh, they're there to smudge that out. So if you look in the top part of the rainbow, that's the actual chemtrail that's been smudged out. And then there's a chemtrail going that way, and the sun dog. Now that's where I'm going to point north and I'm going to do a circumference. That's north. That is due south. Actually, I'm sorry, east. And then there's south. Get a good look at that. But most of the activity is around the sun. There's your sun dog in full bloom, which is, in my professional amateur opinion, that's the uh, sharp side of that orb or whatever's between us and the sun coming through. It's going to hold position and see how distinct it becomes before it fades out. Yeah, but I've been catching this stuff for years, and I know a lot of you have been seeing it. Most people don't know what you're looking at. But if you do your research on it and really dig deeper and unlearn what you learn from the false teachers, they got some interpretation right, but they're not being fully honest with you all, nor myself. 
but in these uh, specific times we have a lot of meteorites orbs moons that are here from the crossing of the planets aka wormwood aka in the bureau system and i'm pretty sure back when it last came they saw the same thing they just did not have the technology that we have now to capture it other than their eyes and them telling stories on paper and rocks and sackcloth and lambskin whatever else they're drawing other canvases and right now my camera is my canvas and i'm getting as much as i can before this day is down I'm not going to say this is not right. This is completely natural as, as it has happened before. Most people tell you, folks, this is not right. But I think it's completely right. I think it's dead on. A lot of us ain't even 100 years old, let alone thousands of years old. So this will be our very first time seeing something this significant. So you have to do that math and put it into your calculations when you're looking at stuff like this so we'll come back later well, I just wanted to really catch the chemtrails but I didn't know I was going to get all this rainbow and light show from the sun and I'm digging it hopefully we'll catch some other astronomical events get it on camera and uh, do what we do That is definitely a planet. Time is 5.35 and we're getting more sunlight. You know, it's panning in two different directions. We got chemtrails over here. So they're just smudging the skies out. You can still see the rainbow around the sky. That's uh, <clears throat> telling the tale that something is between the sun and the earth and it's giving off a reflection and it's refracting into our atmosphere, giving off a rainbow. As you can see, there's a chemtrail. Uh, they, they keep coming through every once in a while. It's the same planes, back and forth. I'm trying to hide this guy. What's around this guy? It's your boy Third Eye Cam. The Date is September 4th, 2019, and the time is 5.40 p.m. And we're just observing the sun as it's setting in the west. And then you still got the rainbow around it. And the dog. The sun dog on both sides. And over here you got chemtrails.
over in the northern quadrant of the sky you got uh the usual and right here you got a chemtrailer I'll take my nippy camera and get some pictures My uh, 35 millimeter Canon. I'm getting some good pictures. That'll it'll end up in the video as well. Snapshots. We're trying to cover it from all angles. All right, this is your boy Third Eye Cam. I had a little interrogative. I had a person came up and asked me what I was doing, so I had to uh, give them the spill. I do not want that on the video, so I'm just doing my monitoring part. Unfortunately, I'm out in a public place. Um, I have a lot of onlookers who know nothing of what's going on, and so they uh, they hit me up for a lot of questions. But as always, I continue to do my thing and be and let be. It's amazing how to how people are so blinded to what's going on is happening right above their heads and they have no idea. They just think this is normal. And this guy was older than me. He looked like he was in his late 60s, early 70s. But hey, young minds, fresh ideas. Oh, there's my rainbow. The one that shines opposite of the sun that I was talking about. There it is. All right. So let me see. Yeah. I'm gonna get pictures of it with my camera. So you got the sun right here, you got a rainbow around it, and now you have a rainbow flip opposite of the sun. Let me get pictures. Let me get pictures of this. Make sure we're recording. Yeah, we're good. And we get those pictures. Shit. Yeah, so you always have a rainbow that flips opposite of the sun. Once the sun is going down around about this time, like I said, between five and six, that's when it happens. And that, my friends, is another orb, planet, moon, whatever that's projecting into the onto the atmosphere opposite of the sun. So there's the sun in this rainbow, and there's that rainbow. We'll be back. All right, yeah, we were jamming to Santana on the 80s channel, but uh, this is your boy Third Eye Cam, and I'm on I'm in Petersburg, back where I reside. And as you can see, they pretty much smudged out the whole sun as it's setting in the west. The time is 6:08 p.m., and it's still September 4th, 2019, on the East Coast in Virginia. Like I said, we go through this a lot, so much that I've noticed a pattern. Let me get in close on it. This is what we deal with a lot. And this is not the first time around for me, as you'll see once I start putting my material out there. This is quite the new norm. This is the new norm right now, unfortunately. And earlier you saw I caught a rainbow opposite of the sun. If the GoPro caught it, if the camera caught it. I think that was some kind of orb that was probably sitting higher than the Earth's position, but sitting there just good enough to cast its uh, sphere, its um, diameter onto the Earth's atmosphere. And I'm going to be using this trick with uh, probably a LED flashlight and a or a laser going through a uh, for my use probably like a 
clear diamond like sphere shoot it onto like some paper and get my results but Austin still has the uh, rainbow around it if you can see it let me see if I can back off and back off a little bit you can catch it you can still see the rainbow around it you can still see the chemtrails within the chemtrails within the clouds and the fake clouds below it this has nothing to do with Hurricane Dorian Dorian whether it's a hurricane or not this this is always happens this is the norm the new norm okay now that we got some cloud cover from that lower cloud you can see higher up should be able to see the rainbow it should come through let's see if I can get on it yeah I see it boom boom I really honestly like would love to see what is beyond the cloud cover there's something of astronomical proportion up there that they are going through extreme lengths to conceal it from on a not need to know basis humans such as myself and you all and the amateurs and if it's not your profession and you're not using their equipment they use a paycheck to silence you and promotion and people just going about their business they don't care a few people that asked me their responses were you know what is that you're taking pictures of and I'm like the sky and when I explain it to them well as long as it doesn't bother me well I'm here to tell you that it's going to bother the entire world and that shows you how ignorant people are to what's really going on they care not and they care not to know they care not to research and they just want to be left in the matrix. Novist. Unaware. Uncaring. Maybe I'm out of my bounds here, but... God damn it, I got an inquisitive mind on me, and I'm curious to know what's going on. I have to know what's going on. It's my right. It's my intellect. It's my curiosity. It's my freedom. So I'm gonna wrap it up with this uh this little video and um put it out there and everybody tell me what you think. I appreciate your time. Stick with me and I'll keep uncovering truths as I see it. It's third eye cam.